There's a player in nest which is covered by this. Oh, oh no. my god, the poison cloud and then Kadoom to jump up. But there's Change who puts the mid doors. Now two players and he's drawing the rotations towards himself, which creates more space for his teammates to come in from Jen. But Myth is winning all the duels. They're destroying the members of Sharper. And the only person who's been able to get a kill so far is Jasper. I don't think he's done enough. Niffy with a lovely shot, but he can't stick the spite just yet because the snake bite is boiling down so much time. And I think it's already in the bag. Myth can start the celebration. And time is running out. Sharper have a huge risk here because they are on the full buy. They need to make sure they put players down. Oh, Jazz did get one, but PTC immediately on the trade. Does not recover the weapon. But look at the position. Alon Fils pushes up, but he spots before the flash could pop and takes down New Gen. There's Niffy still on site, but the weapon upgrade works for. Oh, alone fills. He takes Niffy down as well, and all of a sudden, this is going away. Leviathan does take a player down, but look at his health. Change comes up huge, but the hit looks to be from Main in Thailand. That B, they have spotted the player Niffy whiffs. The site belongs to Myth. Jasper does punish Kadoom for his initial kill that he took, but right now it is a retake that they have to work on. Ultimates better for Made in Thailand, but none of them are like. Um, flushing ultimates or like which will give them winning rounds. Kongarit pushes out his seekers looking forward to information. Oh the recon is going to be huge. Alone fills immediately capitalizes but Jasper and New Gen they double down. Now they're looking for the last few players left and punish Pita who thought he could push it from their holes. Make sure the crossfires are broken and when the 1v1s are offered to Sharper they win those. The Doom though what an absolute monster he's got them both maybe with a double of his own. Both these guys are just going absolutely ham, but unfortunately, Kadoom had backup, Nippy did not, and once again, the B side falls into disarray. The spike done again. Number disadvantage with list time. Now it's all up to the last player. He's back at B main, the previous strategy that he did, but this time it's being red. Vita is right at center line, along with Kadoom and his blade storm. Is it going to be used? Is going to be something that we will look at. Leviathan, if they wanted to flush him, but Leviathan sneakily hides behind the pillar, gets the first player out. Kadoom is down. Oh but look God. at Leviathan, not stopping, sprays down, gets three for his position. Finally takes the other wiper to put his killing speed to an end, but the seeker has bit Peta in the head and Eugen is here to finish All things and mids because they have the complete idea. But looks like Kadum wants to back off. Oh. PTC finds the angle, gets the player down, but change with an immediate trade, but he has and to be If Kadum continues to play in that angle, he's going to be down, up for B. a few more kills. He's given enough information to his teammates. A lone fills, walks right out of the wiper, stops in screen and takes that fight. The trade doesn't come through. Kadum peaks, but he's a little late. Levathan is just that much sharper. Two versus two. HP advantage lies with Myth, but are they going to be able to make it here in time? The Trailblazer spots out both of them. Oh, and this is their cue to move right in. Flash goes out. This should be an easy retake coming in, but Levathan can he put a stop to it? Kongarit already has the angle on one, but Levathan gets one. He's looking forward to the fourth as well. This man with 11 HP is still looking forward to flag out. They know both the positions, but look at how they're playing right at the back of the side. Spots they are looking oh, no. to give an angle where they could fight on. This time, the team, if they push together, they might be able to take down Kadum, which I feel like is going to be the thorn in their executions. Oh, the Viper Wall is about to run out. They need to get the plant before that happens. Oh, nobody's broken the recon. And Beta, Kutum, they both get free kills because people get pinged through it. The big green ball put absolutely no cover for them if the recon dart is still alive over there. And finally, they try to plant the spike, but it's been denied yet again. To wait on that recon was just brilliant. Right now, it's just exchange of blows coming in. But the trailers... Uh, the, the Seekers, all of them, will reveal exactly where mid players are, but Beta has gone undetected. Gongolet peeks out, drops the spike, Beta now strikes, and these players have been able to strike twice! Oh my god, it's amazing! The defense, it's stellar, Niffy finally comes in from double doors and is able to put this out. But the spike, it's already traversed onto the site, and mid attempts might just go to waste! Back to a 2A2. There is an ultimate, but that's just a 2 to force. But look at the fight. It's Sova versus Chamber on both the ends. Yep. Jasper, no, sends out a recon, but alone Phil still capitalizes, misses his initial shot, now it's all up to the last surviving player, finds the first, he's on an ace, Niffy here, to close it out, he's looking forward to fighting with alone Phil, misses his shot immediately, Rondeu is out, but alone Phil, he's looking forward to sticking it. 
I think he's going to seeking it all the way through, but Nesdi! When the initial bullets were sent, Alone Phil steps off the diffuse and Niffy capitalizes. Along with Alone Phil's with Beta, this setup of these three players has always worked at A. Recon comes out, change steps in, but there's a recon which does get destroyed, so change does not have anything to worry about. But they still don't have a lot of space. But look at this Kadoom and change right next to each other. It's all about the swing, and it's going to be Kadoom who swings, gets new gen, but change doubles down, takes down Beta as well. It's all up to alone fills to buy time. Yeah. Meanwhile, Change is buying more space over here. He's the only person who's actually on the pyramids. Everybody else has either fallen back towards a main or is trying to make a move towards Brown Halls. Of course, that person in Brown Halls was Nippy and he's been taken care of. So the danger man is out of the equation. But the utility dump has already begun. The timer is ticking. One of the players of Myth has to stick this despite the snake bites and shock darts being in the way. The others have to act as human body shields and cover the diffuser, but that's not gonna happen. Kongara tries to go for the stick. It's just down to Jasper, and I think he's done enough. They do it! Four players are already here for the retake, but they're still behind the orange. They've not even come close to the pyramids. PTC is waiting up close. Change trying to fight with him, but misses the chance. Nugent immediately on the trade. Back to a 4v4 situation. This needs to be fast. The spike is sticking right now. They've gotten close to the A main. Gotten control of it, but the same snake bite lineup is working out here for Made in Thailand. Kadoom and Alon Phil gets one. The ultimate is here for Alon Phil. Rather than tagging, he's just bagging the players. Now Niffy, he becomes the last and gets put to the ground. Hey, again, and two players are pushing up halls. Alone fills as well as Kadoom. Kadoom gets spotted. Now it's up to Alone fills if he can find anything. He's still there. I think he didn't spot Leviathan or if he spotted, he just kept trigger discipline. Yes, he did. But Niffy came to check and gets punished. Now Alone fills running away, barely surviving. But get the spike down. Yeah. But they've only killed the chamber. What they really needed to kill was the Viper and the Soa. Otherwise, this will be a repeat of the previous round where they can just dump utility. Change still playing towards Pyramid. The same position that PTC was holding previously. And Change has been fairly successful in this region. The only thing that can go wrong is if his teammates Ooh. do not back him up. But it doesn't seem like that's going to be a problem at all. A lone fills finally puts his killing speed to an end. The Toxin screen drops and the Shock Tarts come raiding in. Rising Star. He is an absolute man is in this round doing so much for his team. Beta finally silences him, but now he's got no choice. He has to stick the defuse and he's doing it! He's doing it! He stays in the snake bite, tanks all the damage, takes his team to the win.